What's going on all in wrestling system? Levi Jones here. We are all in, okay? It's a lifestyle, it's a choice, and we're having some fun today. But when we were talking about wrestling, we wanted to share this with you because this is super important for everybody to understand. And that is that the technique that you get shown from me that is free or that you see on Flow Wrestling or that you see a kid hit in an awesome match on track wrestling, well, that's all great stuff, but they have to have a foundation before they do any of that. So you need to check out the allindrillsystem.com, allinwrestlingsystem.com, sorry, allinwrestlingsystem.com. There'll be a link below this video. If you want a foundational, done for you, drill system, practice plans, everything that you need to actually build muscle memory and confidence in the most important positions of the sport of wrestling. But what we're doing today is more just technical. This is the type of stuff that you see more in flow wrestling and different sites. It's kind of fun stuff um, and it's helping you evolve in the sport technically, um, analytically. And today we're going over a quick position that so many high school kids are getting caught in. It's the Merkel position. Um, some people call it a Merkel, um, a cross body kind of clamp or cling. And so here we go. So when you're, when you're down, um, it's very simple for this guy, when he's in referee's position, to immediately go to a crossbody lock, here, okay? And in this position, your natural tendency is probably to, you know, try to fight a hand. And I would say the number one thing you would want to do if he was in referee's position set, and we knew this is a position he was going to go to, I would want to catch hands, either bottom hand or top hand, and I would want to catch it before it happens, right? Go here. I caught it before it happens, I'm out. We always take things one step at a time. How can you beat it before it happens? Okay, but the next part is what, what this guy can do with it. He can really do two things. Okay, one is a cross body right here where he's actually gonna pull me back over this far side here to this position. Now, when he starts to pull me back to this side, I have to make sure my body does not get extended here, okay? My, my body, my body really to, I have to make sure that my body doesn't get extended. So he goes clamp, and he starts to rock me here. Now, I have to stay coiled. So I really need to coil, and I block this leg here, okay? Now, a lot of you guys are gonna block this leg, and you're gonna turn to the legs. He's gonna be able to go either way now, because you've really done the wrong thing. Don't turn to the legs yet, okay? If you blocked, and you've got your hips out, Start to walk your hips, catch bottom wrist here, okay, bottom wrist, get, catch leg, now you can push into him, you can be in the grand beat position, okay, or my buddy Brad here was just talking about this, if you want, okay, if you're really keeping this wrist strong, okay, you can keep the wrist strong, grab elbow, catch here, have a pin, all right, sometimes a pin is better than anything, okay. So just knowing what to do when this guy really pulls me over, my job is I can't get extended. If I get extended, I'm gonna get a leg in, I'm gonna get a pinch, okay? So if he goes this direction over my back, I immediately gotta get my hips, I gotta get my knees to my chest, my hips out here, grab bottom wrist, okay? I'll be able to score. That is what you do when the guy goes, over your back with a crossbody ride like this, like a, like a Merkel, okay? Next I'm gonna show you kind of more of the Merkel side of the, the, the technique.